Hey guys, uh, welcome back. My name is Avinash and in this video I am going to talk about uh, how we can configure uh, Azure Bastion to get connected to Azure VMs. Alright, um, so first of all why we need uh, a Bastion. So basically Bastion or Jump is designed to get connected to our private subnet uh, resources. So here for multiple VMs we are using this public IP address right. So but generally in organization we are not going to use public IP addresses so uh, what we will do we will create a bastion and that bastion will act as a bridge so with the help of that bastion we can directly get connected to our uh, uh, Windows uh, uh, VMs or uh, Linux VMs so the advantage with this is uh, like you know uh, we don't need to deploy any jump server manually if you observe my previous videos I have a jump server and I got connected to the jump server then I got connected to these machines that is running with only private IP addresses See, I don't have any public IP address for this VM so uh, I cannot get connected to this VM outside of Azure environment right so so but I want to get connected to it like you know without uh, this manually configuring jump server so if you manually launch a jump server and if you are using so a couple of additional options you need to take care about the patchings you need to uh, pay for this you need to like you know uh, take care about our network security groups and all so but whenever you are using a azure service called bastion so it directly allows us to get connected to this um, uh, linux vms or windows vms and we no need to uh, tweak any network security groups so you no need to configure any complex network uh, security groups and hardening also it is taken care by Microsoft Azure itself also whatever the VM we are going to create here we doesn't require public IP address only one that is a bastion so that will give the public IP address we can use that and we can get connected to these VMs and also port scanning protection is there as we are not making it is not making these VMs public facing one right so let's go and let's see how we can create that so this is a Linux VM where I want to connect so if I go here when I click on connect if I'm like you know you observe SSH RDP and Bastion so when we click on Bastion so it will look if any Bastion is available in this resource group as well as VNet if it is not available we can deploy it with a single click or we can configure it manually right so let's go to bastion I'm navigating to bastion services click on create so in what subscription you want to use what resource group you want to use I'm going to use compute RG so same as uh, this VM1 uh, VNet so then what name you want to give uh, I'm going to call this as a dev bastion host the region it's a central India tire we can go with the standard or basic anything is fine so I'm going to keep this instance count to 2 that is a minimum virtual network I'm selecting compute RGB net you see here it's asking us to uh, choose a subnet that is named Azure Bastion subnet so whatever the subnet you want to create now or if you already have for example gateway subnet is there I am not able to use it it grayed out so the reason whatever the subnet you want to use for this Bastion it should be um, in a dedicated subnet it required a dedicated subnet so click on main it subnet configurations click on this subnet and give the subnet name so subnet name should be just go and verify um, if you misspell also it won't allow us to select that is a reason but it is a um, Azure Bastion subnet okay so if you want to change this subnets you can give but there is also another requirement uh, whatever the subnet you are going to create 
So the prefix should at least slash 26. Otherwise, it won't. For example, if you create a subnet with a, a 27 or a 28, it won't allow. Click on save. All right, subnet got created. Then go back to so this bastard creation option. I'm selecting compute RG dev bastion host standard virtual network compute rg so now that uh, error is disappeared so i'm selecting azure bastion subnet so do we need any public ip address yes obviously we need a public ip address i don't have any uh, now i'm going to create a new one right so i'm going with um, standard skew so you can add a tag if required so then um, you can choose uh, authentication methods like uh, Kerberos authentication or IP based connection for RDP access. So just click on, I'm going with the defaults. So I'm even allowing copy and paste option. Click on review plus create. Then click on create. Okay, deployment is in progress. So let's quickly see uh, this Azure Bastion architecture. When we navigate to images, okay, I'm taking an image from um, Microsoft portal. So whatever the user we have outside the world, he's connecting to Azure portal. So then here he has some Azure VMs. He have some Azure VMs here. So these are running with only private IP addresses or private subnet ones. So it's not internet facing ones. So now when this user trying to get connect, so first he, he need to authenticate himself to Azure portal. So with the help of a network security group, this Azure bastion will open uh, traffic or will allow connection to these VMs. So this is a, um, uh, like you know the Azure Bastion uh, architecture so the deployment is in progress it's not going to take much time so if you compare this option with the uh, AWS in AWS we have an option called session manager so the session manager will allow us to get connected to our um, instances by using a role whatever the role we associated to our instance so that should allow uh, like a systems manager a session manager service so then we can uh, get connected to it Seems it is going to take uh, some time. So I would like to uh, talk uh, about another thing here. So that is um, another services uh, we have on Azure Load Balancer. So whenever we navigate to Load Balancer, So along with this load balancer and application gateway, so we do have an option called front door and CDN profiles. So basically this front door or CDN profiles is basically it's a, a Azure CDN service, content delivery network. So CDN stands for content delivery network. So the data of the end customer, whatever the data is requesting, the request will generally go to origin and he is going to get response. So, but whenever we are depending on this CDN, so the data is going to be cased to customer uh, nearby locations and from that edge location or point of presence location, the data is going to be delivered. So, we have a lot of uh, CDN service providers. For example, Akamai is one of the uh, leading uh, CDN service provider. Amazon um, 
front do uh, amazon cloud front is also one of the cdn service so how cdn works so if you observe any of this image okay so here is a end customer instead of uh, whenever end customer is trying to access instead of uh, going that request direct to origin server and getting a response from origin server the request is delivering from a nearby server here is a edge server so whatever the data we have in original server that is actually caching in this edge server so for that azure have a component called uh, front door or, and cdn profiles and also uh, azure have a traffic manager so that is uh, uh, based on the dns request from where the dns request is coming from what region it is coming and uh, how exactly the request is uh, uh, delivering to end customer based on that so this azure uh, traffic manager will uh, redirect its uh, equivalent to uh, aws uh, route 53 routing policies okay let's go and verify so this bastion deployment is now completed click on go to resources so we got the bastion here and um, the sessions you can find the session list here so let's go to virtual machines now so this vm i want to get connected now so but you see it doesn't have any public ap address now click on connect select bastion so now it is asking what is a username what is a authentication type you want to and what is a password so uh, if you set up a username and password method instead of the key pair so this uh, is the best option actually so you go here my user is a azure user so but the thing is instead of this password i have used um, a local file so the key pair is downloaded to my uh, local device so i'm going and i'm browsing that uh, key pair that is azure linux.pem i'm selecting it so now when i click on connect again if you want to use password you can simply select password and type the password so then click on connect so now okay a pop-up is blocked basically the session or the connectivity is going to happen in a new window so make sure your browser is allowing the pop-ups then click on done okay now retry to get connect now a pop-up is opened and you see here again see text and images copy to the clipboard allow if you want to enable copy paste from your local laptop to this vm all right uh, see we got connected here without any additional machines so earlier how I got connected I have used this machine jump machine then I got connected to this but now whatever the bastion we have deployed here so that bastion is actually allowing me to get connected you can even see that under sessions one session is here so this is how exactly we can use uh, azure bastion thanks for watching this video guys